So we had some breaking news earlier this morning when it comes to another large video game company having uh, fallen victim to a serious hack that has to do with ransomware and all this stuff. And we've been seeing this more and more over the past couple of years with Capcom being a prime example after their entire like release schedule was just leaked online. Well, this time we're going to be talking about Bandai Namco and how we could be seeing this situation evolve and get updated over the next couple of days. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button. Helps out a ton. And if you're new here to the Spawn Wave Plus channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Let's head over here to uh, Twitter. This was from VX Underground, who says ALPHV, I don't know how it's pronounced, ALF, Alf V. Uh, ransomware group, alternatively referred to as Black Cat Ransomware Group, claims to have ransomed Bandai Namco. So with this situation, typically a group like Black Cat would figure out a way to get access to Bandai Namco's servers that would have a bunch of confidential information on it, take the information, lock it away, and then essentially try to sell them the key to it. So like uh, an encrypted files password, right? And at that point, they could charge whatever they want because it's locked away and they're the only ones who know how to access it. So they show up and they say, hey, you owe us millions of dollars if you want this back. And it's something that we've seen happen with, as I mentioned, Capcom, uh, CD Projekt, EA. And in those cases, none of the other companies negotiated with these groups, which if you consider the, the idea of them actually negotiating and paying up, that would send a signal to a bunch of other groups that would be looking to get a big time payday and then, I mean, potentially retire at that point, depending. Uh, to do that because it works, right? So in the in the entire video game industry, none of these companies should negotiate or pay out for these kind of large scale malicious hacks. Now, when Capcom said no, we're not going to do that, their entire release schedule was leaked. They were like, all right, we're just putting it online. And it was like all the way through 2026, we were like, oh, Street Fighter Six, that's also going to be on the Xbox. It is. Uh, there was stuff with Dragon's Dogma Two. Hey, look, that's coming as well, and, and so on there. So uh, we pretty much got an idea as to uh, what Capcom was going to be doing for, for, for the next several years now. But the biggest thing that Capcom seemed to be in, uh, worried about, at, in good reason, was their employee information because that is typically stored on uh, like within the company, obviously, and all that stuff. So you want to make sure their identities and stuff are protected from uh, theft and, and those sort of things there. So when you see Bandai Namco come up in the news here, understandably i get it it's it's this weird thing where technically the the reason for this information getting out there is uh is pretty bad you know it's a large scale hack that affects a company like pretty much their entire company completely right and it's stolen from them um but people then go oh are we going to find out about a bunch of games coming up from bandai or are we going to find out about projects that maybe were in the works that were canceled and so on and so on there i when you look at it from the gaming side, I get why this becomes so interesting. Whereas if Home Depot gets hacked, people don't really get, they care if they're affected, right? But it's like, all right, I guess I'll just make sure my credit card information isn't on Home Depot's website over the next several months till they get it ironed out. But in this case, they're like, look at all the games that we could find out about. Is there another Ace Combat? Is there another Dark Souls? Are there plans in place for what's after Elden Ring with FromSoft? Are they publishing? Uh, this Armored Core game. Is there a Dragon Ball Universe 3 or uh, or something for a, a new Dragon Ball Kakarot game? Is the, What's going on with the next Tekken? And is there a Soul Calibur? Like, the list goes on and on for now the question marks that are popping up in the comments on places like Reddit and, and Twitter and, and so on there. And I wouldn't expect Bandai Namco to negotiate for tens of millions of dollars to get this information locked because no one else has. And as I mentioned, it doesn't really make a lot of sense for them to do it because it sets a, a bad precedent for the industry in general and again we'll send a signal to a lot of these other groups to do this so what would most likely happen it's also going to depend on how much information they got because it, it might just be source code for ace combat and they're like we're going to sell ace combat source code if you don't give us millions of dollars or something and for cd project they said they seem to just say yeah go ahead and go ahead and Take a shot. We're going to have companies uh, monitoring the internet to see where this is all coming from. So good luck with that. But uh, in Capcom's case, it was just so much information, but they still had to basically go, you know what? We're going to have different firms and services protect our employees and the information with their identities. 
Go ahead and leak our schedule. No, that was kind of it. With EA, I think it was FIFA Source Code just randomly showed up online after it was uh, revealed that they had been hacked as well. Um, but that's kind of what I think would happen here is they determine how much information was taken. Uh, Bandai Namco most likely say we're not going to pay out. And then the hacking group would probably put out bits of information that are serious and then eventually maybe try to sell it online or something there. So I would expect Bandai Namco to make some sort of statement in the next day or two kind of regarding the situation after they've had a chance to look into it. As I mentioned, this appears right now to be reported by VX Underground, but it is starting to spread online. And once that happens, it's hard for Bandai Namco to kind of uh, keep it out of the spotlight. So they would have to address it. Now, the thing that I will admit, one thing that I'm at least curious about, if I just want to put like the the moral stuff aside for should you want to see this or should you be reporting on or any of that when it comes to the results of, let's say, all this info getting leaked out there, I'd be curious if it was Bandai Namco who was actually working on Metroid Prime 4 because that has been something that seems to have been determined through job listings, LinkedIn posts, all of this. And if they have assets, concepts, communication, internal documents as to why maybe Metroid Prime 4 originally was scrapped and then it was handed to Retro Studios. What did they make with Nintendo that even Nintendo was like, no, we got to restart this development after several years of working on it. It's just not working. Out of all of this, that's what I would at least be curious about seeing. But let me know what you guys think about this down below. Bandai Namco could be... Uh, who, that could be an interesting situation if this was like a high level hack with ransomware and a ton of information was taken. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on Bandai Namco, their Twitter account and their website. See if they have a statement out soon. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.